today we learn about uh, structure of the earth so in this video we talk about uh, interior of the earth and uh, how many layers uh, in the structures of the earth the structures of the earth can be divided into one of two ways first one is uh, mechanically and uh, second one is uh, chemically so mechanically or rheologically meaning the study of liquid states it can be divided into the uh, five uh, stages actually that is uh, first one is lithospheres second one is asthenospheres third one is uh, uh, mesospheric mantle fourth one is outer core and the last one is uh, the inner core so as you can see in these pictures that uh, the whole crust and upper mantle is uh, consist of lithospheres and uh, just below the lithosphere asthenospheres is uh, existed below the asthenospheres mantle is uh, uh, present as you can see and then uh, uh, outer core and inner core so this is the uh, mechanical classification which is uh, uh, based on uh, liquid states of the earth so uh, we will talk about a uh, little bit uh, uh, about lithospheres and asthenospheres and uh, uh, outer core inner core and mantle in uh, next slide the second one is uh, chemical classification as i said in previous uh, slide so chemical classification is actually more popular of the two and this classification is uh, uh, more accepted among the scientists so this classification is actually uh, the crust the mental and the core so uh, in this video we talk about uh, this classification actually which is more acceptable and so see here this is the uh, interior of the earth or structures of the earth so this is the crust the thickness of the crust is 5 to 35 kilometer and uh, this is the mental this is the mental part of the earth so the mantle is actually divided into two part upper mantle and the lower mantle the total thickness of the mantle is 2900 kilometers and this is the core so core is also uh, divided into two parts outer core and inner core and the total thickness of the core is 3500 uh, kilometers so uh, there is uh, uh, some discontinuities between these uh, uh, layers of the earth so, so the discontinuity between uh, crust and upper mantle is known as morovisic discontinuities same here that upper mantle and uh, between lower mantle the upper mantle is separated by a repeated discontinuity uh, by lower mantle again mantle is uh, separated by outer core uh, by Gutenberg uh, discontinuity and then layman discontinuity uh, separates these two layers outer core and inner core so these all uh, discontinuities are uh, based on seismic waves so we will talk about uh, separately about these uh, discontinuities in our next video so here is the first layers of the earth that is the crust so the crust is extended from earth's surface to the moho basic discontinuities the moho is not located at a uniform depth but about 5 kilometers below the sea floor and about 35 kilometers beneath the surface of the continents the maximum depth of the crust is found around uh, 100 kilometers beneath the mountain ranges the crust is uh, rigid and very thin compared with the other two layers like uh, the shell of an egg as i said in previous lines so the earth crust is actually brittle and uh, can break major constituent of the crust are uh, silica and aluminium and thus it is often uh, uh, termed as uh, cl so si is actually taken from silica and al is taken from aluminium so the main rock type found in the crust is uh, andesite and basalt see here this is the oceanic crust and this is the continental crust so you can see the thickness of continental crust and uh, the oceanic crust the continental crust is actually 35 kilometer uh, thick while uh, the oceanic crust is generally 5 kilometer the density of the crust is 2.9 gram per centimeter cubed so if you want to uh, go uh, to the upper mantle this is the upper mantle so you have to travel nearly 35 kilometer in continental crust area 
while uh, if you want to touch uh, upper mantle in oceanic crust so you have traveled only uh, 5 km from the surface of the oceans so this is the difference between uh, continental crust and oceanic crust the mantle is located beneath the moho discontinuity mantle part is hot layer of the semi solid rock and uh, approximately 2900 km thick the mantle contains more iron magnesium and calcium than the crust it is hotter and denser because temperature and pressure inside the earth increase the depths the mantle is divided from the core by a gutenberg discontinuity the major constituent elements of the mantle are silicon and magnesium and hence it is often termed as uh, sema so si is taken from silicon while uh, ma is actually taken from magnesium the uppermost solid part of the mantle and the entire crust contain the lithosphere as i said in my previous uh, uh, slide that uh, the whole crust and uh, upper mantle is actually known as lithospheres the asthenosphere is a highly viscous mechanically weak and ductile region of the upper mantle which lies just below the lithospheres so asthenosphere is uh, uh, lower more lower most part of the lithospheres the asthenosphere is the main source of magma and it is the layer over which the lithospheric plates or continental plates are moves so if you want to know about uh, continental plate lithospheric plates or uh, plate tectonics you can see my uh, uh, video uh, i will give you the description of that video in uh, uh, in uh, description box the discontinuity between the upper mantle and the lower mantle is known as repetitive discontinuity the main rock type of the mantle is peridotite eclogite olivine spinel garnet pyroxene and uh, pyroscite so see here this is the uh, upper mantle this is the upper mantle and uh, this is the lower mantle so upper mantle is actually cool and brittle while uh, lower mantle is warm and soft so mantle part is actually semi solid rock have uh, a semi uh, solid rock and the density of the upper mantle is 3.4 g per cm3 while the density of the lower mantle is 4.4 g per cm3 the third one is uh, core so the core is lies at the center of the earth which is nearly twice as dense as the mantle because its composition is metallic means iron nickel alloy rather than uh, stony <coughs> core is divided by uh, gutenberg discontinuity from the mantle the core is actually made up of two distinct part a uh, 2300 km thick uh, liquid outer core and a 1200 km thick solid inner core as the earth rotates the liquid outer core spins creating the earth magnetic field it is composed mainly of iron and uh, nickel and hence it is also called as nife so Uh, nickel ni is actually comes from nickel and fe fe actually comes from uh, iron which is uh, a symbol of these two uh, elements the discontinuity between the upper core and the lower core is called as lohman discontinuity rock type found in the outer core and inner core is iron plus oxygen plus sulfur and nickel alloy so see here this is the uh, outer core and this is the inner core so uh, actually outer core is uh, liquid in states and uh, inner core is actually solid state so the density of uh, inner core is 12.8 to 13.1 g per cm3 while the density of outer core is 9.9 to 12.2 g per cm3 